Yo, yo, yo. Maybe I'll just start saying YOLO. YOLO, everyone. What's up? Hope you're doing awesome. Episode. Hmm. 57. Zach Miller Live. I know you guys are super pumped for this edition. I think that number is correct. I could be wrong. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to guess it's 57. And around that topic is really what we are going to talk about today. Now, when I first get on these, by the way, if you guys have never noticed, what I do is I go and I usually post them to, I guess, my uh, to my personal page on Facebook, which I really don't do anything with anymore. It's really just here. Um, and then today I'm posting it in this group that we have, the 1004, we should call it the 1004 Nation. Wah! But that's what I do. So that's why I'm like catching up but so I was thinking about this also listening to it in a book that I'm reading or listening and it's around getting started and why getting started is so important and I think it's true I remember for a very long time I would ask my, I would tell myself, I want to do a podcast. And I had done a podcast, I think in 2014. It was called Fit Founders. It was fun. I did it with Jess Horton. Many of you guys who know me know her. And it was super rad, super cool. But for whatever reason, I didn't stick with it. And that's fine. Like it sucks. We, I think we shot seven episodes, seven or eight episodes. If you guys want to listen to a couple of them, I guess you could just type fit founders. It was on SoundCloud. Then I got cheap and decided that I didn't want to pay for all of the additional episodes. So I don't even know if we have all the episodes up there. I think they allow you six for free. And I was like, it's all you're getting. So I think we shot seven or eight and there were topics relating to business and fitness. So I interviewed this guy and this is not just about podcasting. This is about consistency and content in general. And so I, I had interviewed this guy, Douglas Burdett for my TV show connect formerly known as Hampton roads business weekly, super cool conversation. So this guy has a, podcast called the marketing book podcast where he just talks about uh books that he markets on or uh, marketing books i guess business books books in general on this podcast of his he's got hundreds of guests hundreds of shows it's really cool and he said something like most people quit after so those people who start it's great you know to, you have to get started right and i and i'm a big fan of just getting started doing something super dirty super raw and just getting things out there, getting content out there. So whatever it is, just get started, right? But then it becomes, okay, I've started. Now I have to stick with it. So we're on episode 57 of this show and several other, like we hit milestone 100 today for the 1004 show, which if you guys have not checked it out yet, the video is live with the founder of Meet Edgar, Laura Roeder. She was fun. That was a fun conversation. I was actually nervous for that conversation. I don't know why, but I was. So I'm interviewing Douglas Burdett, and he tells me that most people quit after seven podcasts, then 25, then 50, then 100, something like that. And it's interesting because the first go around of my podcast, basically seven episodes, so he was right there. So most people don't get started, right? You got to get started. Then they quit after seven. And I remember even with, with, with this show, Zach Miller live. There was probably two times that's been tough to go live just for, cause I want to do it basically between the hours of eight 30 and five 30. So from a timing perspective, and there's no reason why no rhyme or reason. It's just, I don't want to do things after five o'clock, five 30. So 
you know, it just leaves me only with so much time, eight or nine hours. And so sometimes days are busy. So I just scheduled something for, for example, I just scheduled something for next Wednesday and my day is basically super packed. And so I don't know when I'm going to get to the gym in that day. I don't know when I'm going to uh, get the live show on in that day. And so sometimes you just got to figure it out. And so sometimes you got to do it on the move, right? And so getting started is probably the hardest thing. But then I think it's really easy to throw in the towel and be like, ah, I don't have to, right? So I've, uh, and I got, I kind of got this concept from my buddy, Tim Ryan, two days in a row, Tim's being mentioned. So Tim has ran for something like 1400 days straight. Yeah. 1400 days straight. I, I think that's absolutely amazing. Now, when he runs, it's roughly at least two miles every time. He's run marathons in there, maybe more than marathons. He ran a half marathon on Saturday just for fun. He did a 5K the day before with his kids. But the key, I think, in this whole thing is being consistent. A lot of people are questioning whether or not they are going to make it, whether or not they can be successful, whether or not, you know, they can stick with it. And I think when you, and, and by the way, no matter what you do and in whatever scenario, there's going to be high highs, low lows. There's going to be good days. There's going to be bad days. There's going to be days where you don't want to do it. There's going to be days where you're like super pumped to do it. And so I believe now as a guy that hates schedules, I really do. I believe now that by training yourself to have some sort of consistency on a regular basis is really, really important. And if you think about it, almost in everything we do, it happens. American Idol. I don't know how well that show is doing, but it's Sundays and Mondays at eight o'clock on ABC. Maybe it's nine o'clock. I don't know. Right. First we feast the popular hot wings challenge is Thursdays at 11 o'clock every week. And so we train our minds, our brains to tune into that material or we train from a marketing perspective, to get people to tune into that material. But what can you do on your end to be that consistent? Think about that. So when you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I convince this person to watch me? It's great. Now, how do you get that? Per how do you become that yourself? And so in my case, it's doing the weekday show live every week, every weekday, right? Making sure that when I say I'm working out every single day, not taking breaks, right? Are some days harder than others? Absolutely. But when we start trying to get our days back, when we start to try and get our days in order and being more productive, what are we doing to make sure that we schedule stuff so that we can be more consistent, so that we can hit those goals and metrics? And so, you know, the title of this is getting started is the hardest part. Absolutely. You know, going to the gym the first time, that's the hardest part. Until you have to figure out that you got to stick with it. Ah, I'm supposed to eat healthy today. Ah, never mind. Well, what's one day? Well, one day turns into two days. Right? Oh, I'm, I need to write this blog post. Well, I'll get to it later. And so by taking that same mindset that you would from a TV show or a Netflix series or an HBO show, whatever it is, expecting, you know, expecting some sort of content or release at that specific time. How can you do that in your own days? How can you schedule out your days like that? How can you make sure that you make that scenario in your life? So I do this weekday show, right? Every weekday I do it. You know, I go to the gym every day now. I don't take time off, right? But in the same sense, I send out, you know, we push out the 1004 show Tuesdays and Fridays at this time. 
If you guys didn't hear on the show today, on Laura, uh, on the episode 100, or one of three days a week, I lied and said we were going to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but we've recently decided to do Tuesday, Friday, Sunday to see what happens with Sunday. But that's when I have to release those things. That's when people expect these things. People expect me to be live here every day, right? So what can you do to train your body, your system, your brain to do that exact same thing, to stick with the task at hand? Think that if you think about developing a strategy around that, you will have consistently better results because it takes time for people to learn who you are and why they should use you or listen and consume every day, right? So I might not have the greatest metrics live one day. Okay. That doesn't mean I should stop doing something or I can learn from that and improve. So moral of the story, train your bodies, train your schedules, train your minds to be similar to that of a TV show and it's release. Simpsons every Sunday, seven o'clock on Fox, something like that. If you train yourself to do it, you can help yourself be more consistent. That's all I got for today. Zach Miller Live, 57. Out.